Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You see it. She got on the bonnet. What does that mean? Bonnet pinky. So today, because I realized we don't have no chocolate chip cookies on my channel. How is that so? So we got to rectify the situation. We're going to make us some milk chocolate and see my chocolate chip cookies. That's the word I was looking for. Anyhow, it's season two and we in this kitchen again, y'all. Ignore, ignore the big old pancake box. Mind your business. Hush. Anyway, don't worry about that. Um, We over here to bake some cookies. Follow along. The ingredients will be in the description box for you to bake your own. Okay? Okay. I missed y'all. I really did. Bonnet bacon is back, baby. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into this. First, you're going to cream your sugars and your butter together. You're going to blend this till it's nice and smooth and creamy. Um, I did it for about five to about seven minutes long. I spit this up so y'all wouldn't be here all day. But this is a double recipe. I'm going to put the double recipe in the description. If you don't want to double it, just go ahead and make a sink, you know, cut everything in half. But we're using four uh, sticks of butter, a cup and a half of white sugar, and a cup and a half of brown sugar. And we're going to cream this together. Make sure you get all your butter off your paper. You want to get that all in there. You can use the sheets of paper if you want to grease your pan with it. You could totally do that. You don't need to grease your pan. If you have a non-stick, you can use parchment paper. Or just put them straight on the pan like I did. Um, but for a uh, baking tip, use the, the leftover butter on the thing and butter your pans. I saw on TikTok somebody used that in a jar. They put them in a jar and pulled them out when they needed it. <laughs> All right, we're going to cream this together. I totally forgot to hit record when I did my eggs, but after you cream your butter and sugar together, you're going to add your eggs one at a time. I used four eggs for this recipe. We're making a double batch because my kids didn't want pecans, but I did. So I made two different batches, but all in one batter. You'll see it coming up. But yeah, make sure you add your eggs um, before you add your flour. Scrape your, your container down if you're using a stand mixer. Go ahead and scrape those sides down because you want everything to be creamed together. You don't want no hard chunks of sugar left in there. If you're new to my channel, I'm Official Jamie and this is Bonnet Baking. Go on ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know each and every time your girl is over here baking up some deliciousness. Alright. Now this is where I thought we had recorded, but we added our eggs. And now we're going to add our flour and vanilla. Add a little bit at a time. Again, this is sped up, but take your time. Add in the flour, get it mixed in, add some more. I was using vanilla bean paste. I cook by the spirit, so I will put the measurement in there, but I basically just put it in there how it felt in a little bit of regular vanilla. 
in there as well. Add some more flour. I went too fast and had flour all over the floor. Good job, Damia. You can use a hand mixer for this. You don't have to use a stand mixer. Add the rest of my flour. So we're getting it all mixed together, scraping our sides from time to time, and making sure everything is incorporated. Now this next part, I probably could have put the chocolate chips in there and let the mixer mix it, but I tried to do it by hand, and yeah, it didn't feel so good. I have arthritis, so... I was struggling trying to get these chocolate chips incorporated, but you want to get them all the way to the bottom. And then I split my batter into two bowls because, like I said, my kids didn't want pecans in theirs, even though they've been eating the ones with the pecans. Whatever. Anyway, I put half of my batter, not even half but put some batter in a separate bowl so I could put the pecans in and they are delicious. Pro tip, if you want to have a good uh, pecan flavor, oven roast your pecans first just for a few minutes to bring that sweetness out and it will make it even better I didn't do that today it was a lot going on anyhow I'm trying to get the container open and then we're gonna just eyeball it throw some uh, chopped pecans in there and then we're gonna get them on a the pan this is pretty straightforward you're gonna bake it on 375 for 10 minutes or so depending on your oven. There you go. Beautiful. Y'all see it? Ooh, if you want your cookie to be harder, swoop, cook it a little longer. We like ours a little bit soft, and that's what this is. Okay? Get your pee. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Mm. You don't got to make your cookies this big either. Mm. Get you a cup of milk. And get this on. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. God. Hey. That is good. Anyway, let me put that down. I'm official, Jamie. This was bonnet bacon. Go. Ignore all the flour and crap on my shirt. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll know each and every time we over here baking up something good, eating something good, cooking something good. Ride or die is welcome in the new folks. And until next time, I love y'all. And ain't nothing you can do about it. Baby, I'm going to get some milk and tear this cookie up. Bam. <laughs>